Yeah, well, hi everybody. Welcome back to another video. And today we are here at Hollywood Studios. And really, I'm here today because when we went to Epcot last video, I talked about how I was missing the night vibes of Hollywood Studios. And I just wanted a Hollywood Studios evening. So that's why we're here. We're just gonna come here, ride some rides, look at some merch, take some photos. I did bring, um, I did bring the Leica M10 with me. And maybe we'll see Fantasmic. Can't guarantee it though, as always. But we're gonna have a good day today. And we're probably gonna stop by to see Katrina because she is working today. So let's get into it. It is a Saturday evening, so it's probably a little busy today, but we'll see as the night goes on. It's kind of weird because they were like dead for like a week and then this crowd just came out of nowhere. It's interesting. I don't know if it's because of the 100th celebration or not. That's my assumption, to be honest. Now, you know me and Katrina have been looking at different Christmas ornaments, and you guys know I love that 101 Dalmatian one. Well, this is the same concept, but it's for Disneyland. So when you push here, it lights up and it makes noises. I know you guys probably can't hear the noise that well, but what's interesting is this one loops. It doesn't like stop, I don't think, like the 101 Dalmatian one does. Because I was sitting here playing with it and it was going on for a minute, so I think it just loops. And one thing I really like is the 100th branding right there. It's pretty cool. It was hard to hear, but what the ornament is saying is basically talking about the different lands at Disneyland. So it'll be like Adventureland and talk about things about it. Very cool one. I think that's my favorite one actually, because I like the hundredth branding and the like the whole theme of the ornament. It was pretty cool. I think that's my favorite one. I don't remember ever seeing this Indiana Jones shirt. It's pretty cool. Thirty-five dollars, but the texture feels very weird. I don't like it. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't feel comfortable to me. But it looks good. Ooh, this button down is really cool. Look, they even made ears to match with it. And I love the print. The print's really cool. Hold on. A little bit of a glare there. This goes for... It's upside down. Uh, no price tag, so I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, you have the... I think they're called Canteen Band. I forgot the name of them, but those guys... That's the scene where he... Where Ben Solo cuts off his hand. Yeah. Very cool thing. Oh yeah, look, there's his arm right there when he cut it off. There's Luke. I think that's Luke. With C-3PO and R2. This is a very cool shirt. It's not Roosevelt either. Yeah. And not bad either. Look, 60 bucks. Not bad at all. Honestly, this could be a very subjective opinion, but in my opinion, ever since Bob Iger has come back, the merch quality has been a lot better. Like. With, when JPEG was around, you can feel how cheap spirit jerseys were feeling and stuff like that. Like when I did the 50th finale spirit jersey, I did not like how that spirit jersey felt. It was it felt cheap. It really did. And it was literally the same price as any other spirit jersey. The colors were okay. But yeah, I mean, that's one thing I really got to give props to. I feel like the merch is so much better as far as quality goes. Oh, sorry. Underexposure. But yeah, that's one thing I can't complain about. I know others probably feel different, but I'm okay with it. Here's a look at our wait times today. Aliens is 30 minutes. Honestly, whatever I see Aliens as pretty good indicator to me of what that day is going to be like. And I'm pretty sure Rise is going to be like triple digits, but let's see here. No more shows for Indiana Jones for the day. I am at Queens 15. To me, Mini 45. Let's get to the good stuff. Uh, Making Mini Runway Railway, only 60. Let's get to Rise, because that's what I'm really concerned about. Oh, did I skip it? Oh, here we go, Rise of Resistance. Oh, 70, that's not bad, actually. By the way, something I just noticed is I haven't really talked about the things that are happening here at Hollywood Studios come post D23 Expo, which there are some changes coming to this theme park. I just haven't really talked about them because they weren't like like huge announcements, but nonetheless, there are announcements, so we're gonna talk about those right now. All right, our biggest update come D23 Expo news brings us here to Star Tours. 
Let's talk about it. All right, so here's our big update with Star Tours. Oop. Interrupted. But anyways, Ahsoka is coming to Star Tours. And honestly, I'm actually very excited about this. You know, it's weird because when I go on Star Tours, I tend to get sick, right? But it's weird, recently, since I've been on it like off camera, I haven't been feeling sick. And I don't know if that's because of my weight loss or tolerance, I don't know. Because the last time I went on Star Tours like that was when I was working for the, um, as a contractor for the government doing what I was doing. Um, and you know, I was barely here. But now that I live here full time and stuff like that now, and I've been enjoying these rides more a little off camera, I don't know if it's from the tolerance or maybe it is the weight loss. I, I have no idea. I hope it's the weight loss. I like to believe it's the weight loss. But anyways, I'm getting off track here. Yeah, Ahsoka's coming to Star Tours. I think this is actually a great addition. If you all haven't seen the show, I highly recommend you do watch it. Um, the ending is very controversial. Some people loved it. I personally liked it because I like what it's going to set it up to become later on. Maybe um, Dave Filoni's movie or another show. I don't know. but. They definitely left it on like kind of like a cliffhanger type of thing. I should say spoilers for that, but I'm assuming you guys watched it. But it's a very good show if you haven't seen it. I highly encourage you do. And you know, aside from Ahsoka coming here, I'm gonna turn like talk to you about a little bit as being a fan of Star Wars, Disney. Take my advice on this. I know maybe my opinion doesn't matter too much to y'all, or maybe it does because I'm a customer coming here or what have you. But please don't touch Star Wars. You guys have the best person to take care of that franchise or that IP, and that is Dave Filoni, right? This man right here. Like, as my generation says, let the man cook. Let him cook, let him do what he wants to do. And it just, like, you know, a lot of speculations with this, but it seems that he is rewriting what was, in my opinion, a disaster with the sequel trilogy. And it, it looks like they're low-key rewriting it to, like, add Thrawn and all that stuff. So, yeah. Let Dave Filoni cook, man, because he's going to make Star Wars back to what it should be. And not to mention, he is George Lucas' protege. We don't have George Lucas, right? He's, like, against this stuff. But I understand him because he felt, like, betrayed from Bob Iger. But we have Dave Filoni, the next best thing. Let the man cook. Let him do what he wants to do. And don't get involved, man. Just collect the money he's gonna make you but that's it for my rant ahsoka's coming to star tours let's get a ride Thank you. 
Welcome, Star Tours. I trust our colleague is safe. Safe? Have you any idea what we've been through? I have a fun fact about this walkway when you leave the ship and then tell you guys outside. So first things first, that was a very fun ride. I enjoyed it a lot. I think I've gone that journey before, um, but honestly, it's one of my favorite ones because I really love the Clone Wars and I love that there's a little bit of a memoir to that on that journey. But anyways, let's talk about that walkway real quick. So I'm gonna show a screen recording right here real quick. And you're probably wondering what, what the heck are you looking at? Now, this, uh, this is not a sponsored video, but if you guys wanna, do like ride simulators where you're like you're working the rides of these attractions go to ridesims.com they do a lot of cool simulations for different rides in the orlando area but also around the world like they have one for rip ride rocket you saw star tours they even have one where you get to drive the walt disney world railroad they do an amazing job i love playing those games on my off time so yeah check them out but anyways if you all see the animation those walkways they actually like fold up so the ride vehicle can like do its hydraulic motions and stuff like that. So that's a cool little fun fact. And I learned that from that game. And I know it's real because it makes sense because you can actually hear the bridges like coming up when the ride starts. So yeah, little fun fact. And you learned somewhere where you could play some Disney games, right? Or like theme park games. I think it's really fun. I love playing that. Oh yeah, did not feel sick at all throughout the ride. Felt fine, it was a good ride. And that's honestly good, because it sucked getting sick when I went on that ride. And it's good to know that I don't feel that anymore, so I can enjoy it again. By the way, if you guys want to know about a hidden gem of where to get food, and also like really nice beers. Actually, I think they have other alcohol too. Actually, look, there's a menu right here. So they got a beer flight, cocktails, fine wine on tab, and also non-alcoholic drinks. And yeah, they have snacks, but they also have like entrees, but they're really not that big in my opinion, but they are very tasty. Probably the highlight for me is the New York strip that you could get here. You know, it's like a good size, but it's not like something that you're gonna get necessarily full off of or call it a meal. It's definitely more like an appetizer size, or side in my opinion, side, size, sorry words. But um, good place to go, very nice hidden gem. And it's a good place for just adults to chill, you know? It's pretty full over there, look at that. Baseline Tap House, check it out. All right, so I just noticed something else really crazy. Y'all know how I went on about the price of Coca-Colas now at Disney. Well, if you're all familiar with what the bottle looks like here at Galaxy's Edge, if you don't know what it looks like, I'm gonna go ahead and show a picture right here. Pretty small bottle, right? They're actually charging a dollar extra for that bottle here. And it's like way less ounces than what you get from a regular stand. So $6.25 is what they're charging here. That is insane. I mean, that's like 12 pack prices. That's like right on the money for a 12 pack. That's insane, guys. You know who's a character I haven't seen here at Galaxy's Edge since it debuted? Mandalorian with Grogu. Haven't found him anywhere, but I haven't been trying either. So I'm gonna walk around and see if I find them. Actually, I have a way better idea. Let's go see Katrina and she can most likely tell me if he's gonna be coming out again or if he's done for the day. But plus, we can go say hi. So let's go do that. Oh my Lord, I got really sunny. Babe, can you tell me if Mandalorian is done uh, showing up for the day? Can you see that in your little booklet thing? He's done for the day? Man. When does he usually come? Uh-huh. At when? At three. So, does he come out like once every hour or something like that? Oh, so like, okay, gotcha. Okay, bye babe, I love you, we'll see you later. Sadness. But at the same time, the perks of being in a relationship with a coordinator, so yeah. Mandel's done for the day, darn. But basically, he comes out every hour. I don't know how long he's on, like, in the land with Grogu, but she tells me he comes out every hour. So, my assumption is, like, every 45 minutes, maybe he's out, and then they come back out after that. That's my assumption. I really don't know. <laughs> I'm literally laughing. I could just call my girlfriend and be like, hey, is he out? Is he coming? I love that. Those are the perks, I tell you. All right, y'all, let's go be prisoners and then break out of prison. Let's go do this. 
BB-8. Prep the ready room for recruits. Incoming transmission for Mike. BB-8, is everyone assembled? Good. Should you be in for a prep? For cruise. By whose authority are we being detained? By the authority of the First Order, Resistance Scum. Resistance Sympathizers! This ship is now under the command of the First Order. You will exit out immediately and proceed to the right for interrogation. Now get out! Damn, she was low-key angry. Inside the transport and supervise your children. <laughs> Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> Good. Now get a move on. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, it goes on the prisoners. <laughs> the escape pods just follow us. Take the risk now. Hurry. No, no, not up. I said down. How brave, but ultimately hopeless. There's nowhere to run. You will tell me the location of the secret place, and then I will destroy you and the resistance. Your escape pods came in a little off target. Ground crews will meet you outside the wreck. Well, that was a very fun ride on Rise of the Resistance. My only complaint is, I don't know, a little uncalled for how that cast member was screaming at everybody to get off of the transport. It sounded like she was legit mad about her job. It didn't sound like she was acting. And if it was acting, a little too strong, in my opinion, because I don't know. I took it the wrong way, personally. All right. Let's go say hi to Katrina. Gotta do that. Oh, look. It's Ray. And I forget her name, but she's there too. <laughs> Dang, I hope she had a good lunch because she's literally been on lunch since we went to Rise. And I called her like, hello? And she's still on lunch, but she's literally on the way back right now. But it's just funny. Double whammy, Kelly and Katrina are here. I love it. Hi, babe. How's it going today? I was, you know, I was kind of flexing a little bit because of the little, when I called you about Mando. <laughs> ah, the perks, the perks are beautiful. I can't show you, but I can look up information for anyone. But can you tell that to a guest of when he's coming? Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna, okay. It, it used to be like a surprise, but now it's like scheduled times. But it's not like 
confidential to like okay it's i didn't know that all it is is a little paper that has information for the whole park so we don't yeah, have to memorize everything yeah. and we can just refer to that whenever someone asks us a question okay because disney is very big about don't say no to not say no but don't say i don't know to a guest right yeah like, like your yeah that's being professional yeah yeah but i would feel like you could give like not the exact time but like oh he might come here at this time you know like like give hints you can't just like fly out and say oh yeah he's gonna be there at 4 30. it's not surprising <laughs> okay usually when it was like a surprise they didn't even tell us times it would just say like throughout the day or like periodically or something generic like that so we wouldn't okay know. well now i know i'm just gonna call you and i'll find out that way literally Oh my lord, there they go. She she answers so many phone calls, it's ridiculous. My god, I get mad. <laughs> I know she's working though, but it's just funny. Okay, I was talking to her off camera for a bit. Bye babe, you work hard. Sorry for bothering you. Although, I don't think I was bothering you. Actually, I probably made your night coming here. Yeah. Okay, we, we, hold on a minute. Go away. <laughs> We are gonna go get a ride on Mickey and Minnie now. So, bye babe. All right, let's go do that. Dang guys, Slinky Dog Dash is really going through something. I mean, do you just see a line of cast members? That thing's probably done for the night. Hey, it'd be like that unfortunately. I got another tip for you guys. And I learned this, it's so low key, but the magic is real. So right here is where you get the famous Jack Jack Nom Nom cookie. Very, very delicious. So the secret that I have for you guys is if you guys come here a little bit close to closing, you might get a free cookie. I'm just saying from experience, it's happened to me. It was great. And that's why we love Disney. When they do like those special magic moments. All right, let's go grab a ride. In testing, this thing on. the trumpet play the trumpet yes oh best part Well, that was a very fun ride on Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway. It was, you know, today's been going really good. Today is just another one of those days, or really night, because I've only been here for the evening time, but um, I'm feeling the magic. I felt it again today. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm just like feeling it, but um, I have no complaints really to say. Like lately, I've just been really happy and having a good time at the theme parks. You know, maybe it's the heat. Maybe we get stressed out from the humidity here and how hot it can get. I don't know. It just feels like magic's in the air and it feels pretty good. Granted, the only flaw, and it's not really a flaw, right? It's just how I perceived it, but I, again, I thought it was really uncalled for how that cast member was yelling at people in, um, Rise of Resistance, but that's really it. I'm not trying to get her in trouble or anything like that. It's just tone it down a little bit. Oh wow, I love these ornaments. These are very cool. This is brand new too. I've never seen this before, but it's a chip shoulder pet. I'm gonna have to FaceTime with Liz so she can see this because she probably wants this. Uh, I need to show you something real quick. By the way, you're on the vlog. 
So Liz, you ready? A chip shoulder pad. Right? Isn't it cute? Do you want it? Is that 40% off with um, Katrina's discount? How much is it originally? Uh, I don't know. It can be more than like 20 bucks, I would think. Wait, are you in Hollywood right now? Yes. Check for those ears. I haven't seen them. I've been looking for those too, actually. Um, where did they sell them? Near um, Tower Care. Oh, okay. By the, the clothing store over there? Okay, I have to go over there to see it. We have to go walking over to a store here by Tower Terror because Liz really wants these ears. So we're gonna see if they have them. And if they don't, then she'll take Chip. She's right here on the phone. She's making me do too much. <laughs> All right, we settled with Chip. <laughs> so loud. <laughs> Anyways, we got Chip. Liz is gonna say bye now. I'm literally sweating bullets because I was walking, running around everywhere trying to find these ears. But goodbye, Liz. Oh, nice. oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <sighs> Man, it's so beautiful to have the trams back. Thank God. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're back in the parking lot. I gotta make this quick because I only got two minutes of footage left on this card. But man, today was awesome. I'm telling you, I felt the magic. We got to do so many rides. It was all that I wanted from a nighttime visit here at Hollywood Studios. We didn't get any pictures done today, but that's fine. Honestly, sometimes it'd be like that and I'm not upset with today at all. It's kind of hard to hear on my microphone, but actually the nighttime show is going on at Hollywood Studios right now. It's not Fantasmic. It's the one that they do. It's like a projection show that they do at the Chinese theater. But with that being said, everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't heard, um, I went through a writer's block for a little bit. You know, I had a hard time making content because, you know, I'm, I'm still working on the Halloween Horror Nights content because there's just so many photos. And also, I'm working on a very special video I want to do literally tomorrow. But that won't be uploaded for a little bit. Um, Part of it. It'll be like like maybe a week or so after you see this video. Which, by the way, if you want to see my photos and also contact me the quickest and find out any updates real time, check out my Instagram right here. Highly recommend it. I'm very active on there and I try to respond to you guys as much as I can. But with that being said, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, ring the bell because you know we'll leave a smile on my face. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you all. See ya.